The book Natalie Samuel and I read was Instrument by Samira Ahmed. The genre of the book was science fiction. Instrument is about a Muslim girl named Layla. Her and her family are being taken away to a concentration camp because of their religion. As soon as they arrive, Layla is beyond furious because she thinks it's so unfair how her, her and her family have to be hidden away from the rest of the world because of their religion. She quickly learns that the only weapon she can use in this place is her voice, and she uses it quite a lot. But the question is, is her voice strong enough to represent all Muslims and free them from this horrid place? The main character in this book is Layla, and she changes drastically throughout this novel. At the beginning, she's portrayed as a, as a very smart young woman who is scared, but she can speak her mind if she needs to. As you keep on reading, you will see her grow into more, into more of a fierce and fearless woman. She becomes less scared about what could happen to her, and she starts thinking more on how she can help everyone else in the same situation as her. The static characters in this book are Layla's parents. They don't really change much throughout this book. They're portrayed as very frightened, quiet people who stick to what they're told because all they care about is the safety of their daughter. They are so important because they help Layla through some hard times and they are there for her when she needs them. A key passage from the book stated that there are so many we lost, the ones that were taken, cut down for the color of their skin or religion they preached or the person they loved. All they wanted was to live. Uh, I picked this out as a key passage because it highlighted how they all felt in the book and in the camps and what they were trying to fight for even though there were consequences to it. The main themes in internment are racism, religious discrimination, maturity, and the dangers of denial. The main character uh, uses figurative language describing the director's laugh as a devil and the darkness in a room like a tomb-like tomb darkness.